23-year-old Femi Nandap, who had a history of mental health problems and was known to police. Nandap has pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. But Dr Ensink's baby daughter will never know her father and may one day ask who was responsible for his death. So this is the house where the guy lives who took my money. That's what my money pays for. It does actually make me very angry. I lost a lifetime's worth of savings. Nobody seems to have been held accountable. A lot of the investors have lost money. Thousands of people put their savings in the hands of a company that offered them a comfortable retirement. This development does not exist. This looks like where the site should have been yeah. built. Yeah. And there's nothing here, there's just a car park. They haven't even started building it yet. This is where your pension money should have been invested. It yeah. should have been invested in this site, on this car park, on this land. Every year, a billion pounds is lost in failed investment schemes. I went to tell my wife I lost this money. It sent me to a mentally dark place. Now those who lost their precious savings are setting out to discover the truth about the people they trusted with their money. It's very odd that they should make quite a significant payment, over £2 million, to a company based in Gibraltar. Regulators have failed. We want to know why it happened, who is responsible for it. I would fight till my last breath to make sure that we get justice. I'm not going to let them get away with it. No way. Of young black teenage boys yeah. who are members almost exclusively of gangs attacking each other so yeah. that the perpetrators and the victims appear to be almost exclusively young black men. The knife crime element of murder in London is predominantly young black of teenage course. boys. Yeah. Mr Young and launches a single vicious punch to the head. Mr Young sustained a serious head injury and later died. Gill pleaded guilty to manslaughter and was sentenced at Salisbury Crown Court to four and a half years in prison.